Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to Solo Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film four videos a week here on my YouTube. And this series is all about spirituality and metaphysics and the occult and so, so much more. So for this video, we're going to talk about healing trauma and a tool or a way that I have learned how to begin to heal my trauma. It's just a little exercise that I've done in the past and I feel like it's really, really powerful. So I wanted to make a completely separate video on its own just for this. So when it comes to healing trauma, I've found personally that it stems from memories. Like it's all in our memories, which are in our minds. And oftentimes those memories can come up and just completely trigger us and throw us off. And for me, one tool or way that I have learned how to process those memories is to go back into them. And I know that sounds really counterproductive, but it has fully transformed my life. And I think it was Till Swan that I got this from. She's very good at understanding emotions and how to heal it. And one of the things I like to do is literally visualize. I like to just sit somewhere peaceful and quiet and visualize that experience happening again. And I know that can be scary depending on what it is that you're going back to see, but you have to remind yourself how safe you are because you're not in that experience anymore. You're going in your mind. So you are fully, fully safe and you are just sitting there and allowing the thoughts to come up because they're going to naturally come up anyway when you're thinking about the experience that happened. So you allow those thoughts to come up. You allow the images and the pictures of that experience to come up in your mind and then you see yourself in it. So like you can see yourself as third person or you could see yourself actually as that person or as that version of you. Whatever comes up and whatever feels okay for you but just allow those memories and those images of everything that happened to start to come to you and then I kind of allow it to unfold a little bit of whatever kind of experience that was. So there's one time I don't know if I should talk about the actual memory. I feel like this is a little bit invasive, but we're just going to do it. Okay, so there was one time I was in an abusive relationship, and I've talked about this so many times, but there's one memory where I'm literally laying on the floor in the front room of um, the flat that we rented together, and I'm literally just laying on the floor, bawling my eyes out. I think, I don't know if, it was a moment where he'd put his hands on me. He probably had. So I literally was just laying like flat out, <laughs> like full body flat out. I wasn't screwed up or anything. I was flat out, like just laying on the floor after whatever interaction had just happened. And I literally just bawled my eyes out and just laid there. Like I didn't move. I didn't get up. I just laid there crying. So in this, um, visualization I can see myself laying there in front of me like it's really weird to be honest but I can see myself laying on the floor in the flat and I'm like standing behind myself and I literally just look down at myself and and like I let the emotion come up that I can feel when I see her because I see how sad she is how heartbroken like how broken to be honest and I just look at her and I just allow all of the emotions to come up inside my body in real time, you know, and I just let it all flood over me, that sadness. And then I realise exactly what she needs in that moment, because in the real memory, the actual experience of what did happen was that she was not comforted. Like the person didn't come and say sorry. Nobody came and picked her back up off the floor. Like she had to pick herself back up. So I realise when I go back into it, I can be that for myself, if that makes sense. And I know it probably sounds a bit weird, like, yeah, but you you weren't there, like, you're not actually doing it, it's just in your head. And it's like, yeah, but the trauma's in your head, you know? Like, the attachment to that memory, the pain that you feel, everything, it's all within our body, within our minds, within our energy field. So it's an energetic thing. So you can energetically change it too, if that makes sense. So 
while I'm in this visualization, I will look at myself on the floor and literally just go sit next to her. I'll go and pick her up, I'll go and hug her, I'll go and hold her, whatever I feel called to do in that moment when I'm visualising it, because you don't have to just visualise it once, you can do it as many times as you need to, as many days as you need to, whenever you need to, you know, like, it's just a tool to use to help that emotion come up, so then in my real life, when I'm sitting there visualising, I might end up crying for real, but it allows that sadness to release and come out of me because if I didn't do that visualization that sadness would have stayed stored inside me and I would just be wandering around still feeling that sadness and not acknowledging that sadness and just kind of distracting myself from it but because I've gone into that memory now the sadness is fully in my face because I'm literally seeing myself laying there on the floor so it's right in my face and I'm able to acknowledge that holy shit this situation happened and I didn't like it and I feel sad about it and it hurts and like I can just fully acknowledge exactly how I feel about that memory because I'm standing there looking at that memory and then the emotion starts to come up by itself naturally and I just go and give myself a hug and I tell myself if you saw if you could see, <laughs> speaking to my past self, if you could see where you are now, years later, oh my gosh, like you wouldn't even believe it, you know, and it kind of makes me feel a little bit better about where I used to be, because where I am now is just so different and so incredible, so it's like you can just go and give yourself a little comfort or pep talk or whatever it is that the old version of you needs and just remind that version of you that they're not alone that they have you and that they're safe now and this experience is over it's done and you are safe and it's not going to hurt you anymore you know and we're not even trying to make those emotions go away we're just trying to comfort ourselves literally just comfort yourself like you're your own child you're taking care of that old version of you that child version of you because it's from the past it's a younger version of you so you're taking care of it and going and giving that version of you a hug whatever it is that you needed so it's just such a powerful tool and I definitely recommend you check out Teal Swan's videos as well because I'm sure she breaks down like in a million different ways of all of the things that you can do and it's really really powerful but this is just something I've tried and it really works for me anytime I feel a memory taking over my present life. I will do this visualization so I hope this was helpful definitely comment below if you have anything to add or if you have any questions or anything I'm always here to answer them and also the description box has my phone number and all my social media links to my music my crystal healing jewelry and just so so much more is all in the description so don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already because I do upload four times a week to this YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video bye you could say I love you I can't get enough, boy I just want you to myself